What an awesome day to be here at the TBN studio in Jerusalem. We're in Studio B. This is upstairs of Studio A, and I think this is the absolute first time we're using this brand new set, and we have some special guests to use it with. It's Tony and Mike, who are Chazakim. They're a hip-hop band from Florida. Yes. And you both are here just for the sake of our viewers. Uh, they're here for the Jerusalem Encounter Conference. That's correct. Which is organized by Firm and TBN uh, in cooperation. We're filming. You performed there uh, just yes. the other night, mm -hmm. uh, bringing Christians to Israel to connect with the local body, mm -hmm. which seems like an awesome uh, topic. So first of all, welcome. Thank to the you. Studio. Thanks. And uh, for our viewers who don't know about you, I'm sure everyone will eventually, but uh, yeah. <laughs> for, to our viewers who haven't heard about you, can you just tell us a bit about who you are and where you're coming from? Sure, yes. Uh, Tony? Uh, two, uh, two artists, two MCs who happen to be brothers, um, multi-ethnic Jewish messianic hip-hop group. I mean, very... That's like a very packed statement. Yes, yeah. very <laughs> packed statement. And um, we have a deep love for theology, a deep love for God's word. We want to see Yeshua exalted. We want to see, see Jesus exalted. Mm -hmm. So our, our music, we infuse it with a lot of theology um, from a messianic perspective um, in the hopes of, show, first off, encouraging believers, admonishing and, and uh, exhorting believers to, to press in after the Lord and also to invite the unbeliever to join the family of God. That's really interesting. So just how, how does that sound in your lyrics and your music? How does that work into that? Sure. Uh, well, uh, when you listen to our music, of course, we have uh, singing in Hebrew to kind of reflect uh, our upbringing uh, in the Messianic uh, movement. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we feel like within the, uh, the Christian circles and even some of the Messianic circles, uh, there needs to be more theology uh, in music so that believers can better understand their faith. Uh, in this time that we're living in, when we deal with a lot of non-belief, uh, a lot of paganistic beliefs, a lot of atheism, evolutionary teaching, we feel like it's important that we equip the body with things to, to understand so that the, when, they, when they share their faith, uh, they know that they're on solid ground. Okay, so <clears throat> mo most people who would say make that kind of statement would say, and I, and I started a teaching ministry, mm -hmm. and yes. you're doing it in hip hop ly lyrics, and I've I've listened to your lyrics, mm -hmm. and it it works. So is is your right. experience positive with that? Are people responding to that message? Um, let me take this one real sure. quick. <laughs> if you listen to the, if you read the Psalms of David, which was the hymn book of Israel, of ancient Israel, right, and even when you look at the old hymns of the church they were theologically rich. They were not theologically shallow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it works, I think, because it's a, an, a formula going back to biblical times. However, does it always work in terms of popularity? No, because um, it depends on the crowd. Like, there are a lot of believers who appreciate it. There are a lot of people, even unbelievers, who appreciate it and want because they, they see the value of it. Uh, and then there's, but there's also that, that larger, more commercial conglomerate of Christian music uh, that, that's a little more um, surfacey. And, and I think sometimes the deeper things can be a little bit heavy for people to digest. Okay, so okay. there are some who like it, some who, who don't like it. But I think everyone can appreciate the, the lyrical content, the musical. Right. I think it's been definitely uh, an advantage. Um, mm -hmm. We've gotten a lot of praise reports back from people Amen. who have used our music in their teen groups uh, or when explaining a, a book, a passage from the scripture. Mm -hmm. You'll notice with our music, we actually go into the Old Testament and explain parallels between Messiah, Yeshua, and also some of the things that happened in the Old Testament, the fulfillments. And we feel like that's such a beautiful thing to do, um, to be able to use our music as a teaching class. You yeah, know, also really interesting. So this is my perspective, of course. Hip hop is a, I, I would more affiliate it with like the secular world mm -hmm. right, that, than the Christian world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet you have like this really deep message. Are you trying to reach the non-believers with this message? Is it, you know, does it happen? Do you perform in, in the secular world? Sure. Absolutely. Um, We've got, we received a testimony about a year and a half ago of a guy who was hooked on drugs, uh, addicted to other various sins, heard our music, I don't know if it was Spotify or what, he was going through a playlist and fell to his knees right there during one of our songs and received the Lord. We met a Jewish guy in Dayton, Ohio, who was Orthodox. Uh, someone handed him our CD. Um, he was kind of on the, on, the, on the fence and it helped push him over to faith in Yeshua. So, uh, and I mean, we've we received many more testimonies. One of the more common ones, and Mike can also attest to this, is uh, seminary and theology uh, students saying, hey, I'm yeah. studying for this test and your music is helping me right. uh, in my study for theology. Because, you know, and th that's a funny thing to think that a hip hop uh, album would do that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can um, see that. Yeah. <laughs> and see, I've always said too, um, with hip hop music, the minute that people ask us, okay, what kind of music do you do? I kind of cringe. 
because the minute that I say hip hop, they immediately, and I can understand, I really can understand their, their feelings about it. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like I gotta, I gotta go out of my way to explain to them, no, 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 we don't just rap about our love for the Lord. We don't just rap about what the Lord does for you. We actually get into scripture. Like there's one thing in someone telling you, I'm gonna rap, I'm going to, we're gonna rap about the Lord. We're gonna rap about the Lord. Or it's almost like if you as a teacher got up and said, I'm gonna teach you about Yeshua. I'm gonna teach you about Yeshua. I'm gonna teach you about Yeshua. And the whole time the class is sitting there going, okay, teach us about Yeshua. That's the thing, if you get what I'm saying, it's almost like our That's music. That's a very good analogy. Yeah, our yeah. music is, we're gonna teach you about Yeshua. We're, we're not gonna, gonna talk about teaching you yeah, about Yeshua. Yeah, exactly. Or, <laughs> we're gonna, or we're not gonna talk about what Yeshua has done for us, and that's our way of teaching you about Yeshua. We're actually gonna teach you about who he is. So that's what we feel is something that needs to be, uh, we need more of in the body. I think that will help tremendously with people understanding the, the faith, the solid foundation of our faith. And I if I can that. add to that real quick. Please do. We do have introspective songs. The Psalms are often introspective. Lord, you know, you, you delivered me from my enemies, etc. So there, that, there's a place for that. However, I think we're so inundated and oversaturated with music about what God does for us and not music that sings his praises, that puts him on the pedestal. Mm -hmm. So I think we need both. I think we need both. And um, yeah. just affirming what you're saying, man. I mean, that's to, to us, that's our passion. And the fall away rate. You know, I've met a lot of, of, of Israeli believers who, who friends, friends of theirs are falling away. And some of them weren't grounded in a congregation. They had no real theological, it was more of an emotional decision they made, mm -hmm. but no theological, uh, you know, apologetics sort of, um, you know, foundation to where they can stand from on the word when temptation comes, when doubts mm -hmm. come, to say this is the truth. I know from Yeshayahu, mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah the prophet, 53, that the mm -hmm. Messiah would come, that he would suffer and be rejected. Those kinds of things help. So I right. think giving believers that sort of tool, those sorts of tools, help to stand uh, when you're going through. And I would, I would say this real quick too, I'm sorry, but I think that I would love to see it get to the point where the body of Messiah gets believers who are thinking about going the opposite way for them to stop and go, I can't because this is truth. This is almost a death wish, wish if I decide to go away from the Lord. So mm -hmm. our hope is, is that we get them so grounded that they say, you know what? I might be going through a lot right now. I might be feeling like everything's falling apart, but I'm gonna stand with truth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of, like Tony said, an emotional decision. Because emotional decisions many times cause people to fall back. Because we're emotional beings. That's how humans are. So, yeah, that's what we want to do. And really equip believers. So you both are here on the Jerusalem Encounter Conference. Yeah. You yes. performed there last night? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. How was that? That was great. It was good. How's the good. conference been? A lot it's of been awesome. It's been awesome. Uh, Francis Chan. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of solid teachers. And, yeah, I mean, the reception was good. Good. So we're, I mean, I... I I think I told you this. We're recording TBN is at least most of the segments from that conference, including right. your uh, your music. Okay. So we're going to be fitting it into these uh, this show and the other shows that we're having. Nice. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it right after this interview. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank so you. Tony and Mike, thank you so much for being here with us. Shalom. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your trip in Israel. Yes, I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. To all our viewers at home, we have a special surprise. It's Tony and Mike and their drummer. Uh, Ivan, yes. Chazakim performing on TBN's Studio A here in Jerusalem.